Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace be with you. And keep you in the love of Christ. Heavenly Father, all hearts are open to you. No secrets are hidden from you. Purify us with the fire of your Holy Spirit, that we may love and worship you faithfully. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. On this day we come to celebrate the love of God in the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We bring our head into the circle of God's love, mindful of our failures to live and to love as Christ has called us. Lord Jesus, mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The love of God bring you back to himself, forgive you your sins, and assure you of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. Colic for Christmas Day, let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him. And as this, at this time to be born of a pure virgin, grant that we, who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. The Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we have seen his glory. Alleluia. Listen to the Gospel of Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinus was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house of the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you. Crib is one of the best known and loved decorations used within our worship in church and within our private devotions at home during the Christmas celebrations. But I wonder if you know the origins of the Christmas crib. Well, tradition has it that it was St. Francis of Assisi who was responsible for this particular innovation. To celebrate the birth of Jesus, St. Francis decided to make it real for his people and his friars who lived in the hills around the hermitage at Greccio. He said, I wish to recall to memory the little child who was born in Bethlehem. I want to set before our bodily eyes the hardship of his infant needs, how he lay in the manger, how with an ox and ass standing by he lay upon the hay. With his friends, he succeeded in recreating the first crib scene in a cave surrounded by candles. The villagers and friars were completely overwhelmed as they celebrated the Christmas at which St. Francis preached, bringing the Christmas story to life in a very special way. After the death of St. Francis, the custom of having a crib spread all throughout Europe. Perhaps you have a crib seen at home. If you do, spend a few moments looking at your crib today. Do you notice things that you never have before? Most of all, focus on Jesus in the manger. 
the little wound and marvel at the wonder of God's love for you and the world he came to save. St. Francis reportedly said, preach the good news of Jesus Christ, use words if you must. Perhaps this explains why he was so moved to preach the message of Christmas in a new way, without words. He recognised that the only word required was the little word laid in the manger. Because the language of the incarnate word is the wonder and mystery of love. Simply and profoundly, this is the message of Christmas. And the word became flesh and lived among us, full of grace and truth. God our Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, was born of the Virgin Mary for us and for our salvation. Bless this crib which we have prepared to celebrate that holy gift. May all who see it be strengthened in faith and receive the fullness of life he came to bring. He was alive and reigns forever and ever. Amen. of faith. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his own. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God our Father, today the Saviour is born, and those who live in darkness are seeing a great light. Help us who greet the birth of Christ with joy, to live in the light of your Son, and to share the good news of your love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who has come into the world. Amen. This light was the light of all people. 
The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Let our prayers be as lights shining in the darkness of our world. Emmanuel, God with us, we welcome you. As we celebrate God's coming to us as a human child, we bring the needs of our world before the God we can trust. We pray for all those who worship God in every country of our world. We pray for the grace to know and love God more deeply. Emmanuel, God with us, we welcome you. We pray for those who are spending this Christmas apart from those they love. We pray for those whose celebrations are tempered with sorrow or fear. Emmanuel, God with us, we welcome you. We pray for peace in the Holy Land and for all who now live in the city of Bethlehem. Emmanuel, God with us, we welcome you. We pray for those working over Christmas, for all women giving birth and all babies being born today. We pray for their homes and families. Emmanuel, God with us, we welcome you. We pray for those being born into eternal life through the gates of death and commend them to God's love and mercy. Emmanuel, God with us, we welcome you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the extraordinary love you show for us in entering our world through the natural channel of birth. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. To us a child is born, to us a child is given, and his name shall be called Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and also with you. Word may flesh, life of the world, in your incarnation you embraced our poverty. By your spirit may we share in your riches. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and It's always right wherever we are to thank you and to praise you, God our Father, and King forever, and through Jesus Christ your Son. Through him you made us in the Holy Eucharist. When your Holy Spirit came to Mary, Jesus was born as one of us. He loved us so much that he died for us. On the first Easter day you raised him to life, and death and evil were conquered forever. At Pentecost you gave the Holy Spirit, as Jesus promised, to help us to live as your children. So here on earth with the angels and archangels and with everyone in heaven we praise your name and sing. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father in heaven, listen to the prayer we make in Jesus' name. Through the Holy Spirit's power, gentle as a dove. May this bread and this wine be for us, Jesus, body and blood. Father, we remember when Jesus had supper with his friends the night before he died, he took the bread. He found it, broke it, gave it to his friends and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body given for you. Do this to remember. supper, Jesus took the cup of wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends, and said, All of you drink from this cup, because this is my blood, the new promise of God's blood. Do this every time you drink it, to remember me. Yeah, that we remember that Jesus is always with us and say, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come. 
Father, that as we remember your Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross and rose again, we offer you these and all the gifts you freely give to us. Send your Holy Spirit to be with all of us and all who share this bread and drink from this cup. Help us to trust you. Bring us closer together and welcome us with all your people into Jesus' glorious kingdom. All honour and glory belong to you, Father, through Jesus, your Son, with the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. O oh, blessed Lord, in union with the faithful throughout the world, at every altar of your church where the Eucharist is being celebrated, I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I present to you my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may always be united to you. Since I cannot now receive you in the sacrament, I invite you to come spiritually into my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with heart and mind and soul. Let nothing ever separate you from me, so that I may live and die in your love. Amen. Thanks to the Lord for he is gracious. His love is everlasting. God our Father, whose word has come upon us in the holy child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illumine our hearts and shine in our words and deeds. Through him who is Christ the Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, can I wish you a safe and peaceful Christmas full of joy of the Christ child in your hearts and your homes from both the old churches at St Martin's High, Christ Church Rosset and St Paul's Missacomet. Glory to thou in and glory to thou therewith thou. The Lord be with you. And also with you. 
May the eagerness of the shepherds, the joy of the angels, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. A bendis de uros as the one, tard the marvelous big one, we're going to be at Aros, going to be lost. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.